Hello there. Slough based large format print specialist, The Big Display Company, is fast building business on the back of a HP Latex R2000 Plus printer that it bought through approved UK reseller Paper Graphics in March 2021. I'm today talking with marketing director Jack Murphy about what a difference a year makes. So, hello there, Jack. Hi there, Leslie. Thanks a lot for having us. Nice to see you again. Can we just recap on what prompted you to plumb for that new printer in the first place, Jack? Sure. So we've been dealing with paper graphics for years, going right back through uh, the CWE days. And we originally had a HP FB 700, which was a fantastic little workhorse. It was straight out of the Barcelona demo room. So it really been put through its tracks before we even got it. And we'd had it for about seven years. <clears throat> and although the technology was still great for, uh, you know, that sort of size of UV machine, we really needed to press on. There was too much downtime with it. We were losing out on quite a lot of work due to quality. So for throughput, it was fine, but we just couldn't achieve the standard that we, we sort of wanted to, the direction we really want to go in. So we started to look at the different options that are out on the market. Um, we looked at kind of all the usual suspects and we've, we're very, very convinced with latex, latex technology. We've gone through the 360s, the 570s. Now we've got the 800, the 32, the 36. So it was kind of an obvious one for us to go for, the R2000. And as soon as we saw the samples, we started looking at the what the actual throughput would be on the machine. Everything else kind of fell into place for us. And once it went in, within a week, it just totally transformed how we were doing things. I know because I know quite soon after you'd installed it, you started talking about new opportunities that it was affording you. So can you tell us a bit about what the sort of most major gains have been so far? Yeah, sure. So we've had two big areas we've been able to improve on. Funnily enough, it's totally opposite ends of the market. So we've been able to produce some really nice high quality acrylic displays, which was something that although in theory we could do on the um, on the FB700, by the time you convert the white over, you lose four hours, you lose a couple of hundred pounds worth of ink. The R2000, because it has the, the white head and the little cradle, you pop it in, a few little tweaks here and there, then suddenly it's running. Yeah. So we were then able to start taking on some high quality work where we're laying down, you know, different variations of white onto acrylics and onto some high quality um, ultra clear films as well. Again, work we just hadn't been able to get anywhere near previously. So that was fantastic. The opposite end then for us uh, was in short run packaging. So printing onto cardboard. So with that, that's something we've been aspiring to do for such a long time because it is so hard outsourcing packaging. You know, especially when you're looking to try and provide short runs for customers where they might only want 5, 10, 50, 100. The big packaging guys out there are fantastic at doing huge runs but they're not interested in setting up their um, their enormous presses for a few. So we then started our journey to try and get that right. And it's taken a little while. It's not an easy thing to do, but we've managed to narrow everything down to the right supply, the right stock, even down to the size of sheet we know that runs perfectly through it. And we've got all of our own CAD software and everything set up for it as well. So we get an inquiry for one box. We set it up, we print it, the job goes, we get a job for 500. It's exactly the same process. Yes. So that has made a huge difference. And are you doing much trade work? It's only trade, only trade work. All trade on yeah. that side. Yeah, yeah. Tra trade's always been our primary focus. Uh, yeah. Because what shape do you expect the company to be in in, say, another year's time? Because obviously you're changing quite dramatically. And I've got to ask you, will, do you think the name will still be representative? Because obviously the big display company, but you're obviously going into, into lots of other niches now. It, yeah, that is a running joke in the office of the, the big box company, the big sticky company, the big banner company. It's, you know, the funny thing is with the name, our original trading name was Bullseye Awards and Garments Limited because that was the company my dad started years ago. And originally it used to be T-shirts and trophies. Yeah. Well, it, we're just in a constant evolving mindset of then we've moved more into displays. Now we're moving more into short run packaging, but we're seeing that as being part of the, the entire way, entire offering that we have for customers. Mm -hmm. So it feeds really nicely into our, a lot of companies we sell into where they're selling like branded merchandise. We're selling them boxes to go with the branded merchandise as well as the roller banners to then display the product. So it all kind of feeds in really nicely with each other. Yeah, yeah. In terms of where we see ourselves, our next bit of investment we've got, we've got another Zen coming in shortly. 
um, <clears throat> which is I'm really looking forward to the 1.8 um, by 3.2. So it's going to handle those sheets of cardboard coming off the R perfectly. Yeah. And the idea with that is that by putting that in, that's going to help us develop that side of business more because the printing isn't really much of an issue now. We've got enough equipment to get through. The cutting is a massive bottleneck. So what we're doing by putting that in is then opening up even more opportunities of saying, okay, we'll take longer runs because we don't mind if it's cutting for two days. And again, with the high-end products like acrylic, we don't mind if it's routing for two hours because all the other jobs are then going through the other cutter. So that's where we're seeing the future for us is just really working on our core base, really pushing out these different products and sorting out the entire production plan. Yeah. And do you think margin is improving? I mean, it's it's just something I thought worth asking at, you know, at the end of our chat, because obviously there's a lot of diversification going on across the industry. A lot of it's about turnover building, but, you know, what about profitability? It's, it's a really good question. I, I find that one thing that as a director excites me about short run packaging is the margin, um, because the net margins that we are, so the gross margins we achieve on it are fantastic. The net margins, not always as good when you're very labor intensive and you're running on shifts and things like that. But again, the beauty of the other cutter kind of offsets that. But when you're looking at these premium products, we're finding that customers are turning over to the idea of paying for our expertise rather than ink on sheet. Yeah, good. And when you've got the right customer base that you work with that has that attitude, it's not about ripping them off and laughing at the margins and things like that, but it's about being able to charge at a price where the company can make a good margin that gives us enough money to pay everyone a fair wage, to reinvest in more equipment and to just keep everything moving forward. Yeah. So it's, it is very exciting having a printer like the R2000 where we can have our bog standard throughput of jobs at, you know, whatever the lower margin is. Like butter, yeah. The bread and butter, absolutely. But then be able to offer these more premium or more very specific products with a better margin because, you know, the more money we're making, the better we pass it on to everyone else and everyone else down the line makes more. So I will say the market settled down a little bit recently as well in terms of flat sheets, which does make a big difference. But, you know, we'll see what's around the corner. Yeah. And on that note, I'll leave you to get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> But thank you very much for your time again, Jack. I appreciate it. No doubt we'll talk again soon. No, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much, Leslie. Take care. Thank you.